Well, here it is tonight. Potential tropical cyclone number six. That's a long name that just means we think this thing will be a tropical storm within the next seven to eight hours. Most likely by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, this will be named tropical storm Francine. Here's what one of our forecast models does with it. See how you get this organization through the day on Monday into Tuesday east of the Texas Gulf Coast and then on Wednesday it's moving inland. Now the National Hurricane Center's track takes it a bit closer to Lake Charles. This particular forecast model wants it over to the east of Morgan City and then headed up toward New Orleans. Either way, we end up on the wet side of this storm and it is going to bring our best chance of rain. Probably it's easy to say in months here across Alabama uh, as we look forward through next Saturday evening. This is cumulative between now and next Saturday around one to two inches on average and some places are going to get even more than that. Look over here in western Alabama and into east Mississippi. This may be the bullseye where we get the best chance of potentially three inches of rain over the next seven days. You'll also note the wind starts to pick up on Thursday. Thursday's an impact day because it's going to be windy and wet all day long. Occasional gusts from the east southeast will go as high as 35 to 45 miles per hour. So not exactly the prettiest of September days like we had today and like we're expecting on Monday and Tuesday. But then as the stronger winds start to move toward the north on Friday, we'll still be left with a blustery kind of afternoon. Wind about 10 to 20 miles per hour with occasional showers and thunderstorms even on Friday. So tomorrow we're mostly sunny, the high about 89. 90 on Tuesday, lots of sunshine. Showers start to kick in here on Wednesday. And then we look at two impact days here, Thursday and Friday, where it will be both rainy and windy and potentially stormy as well, especially Friday afternoon. Some of those storms could be on the strong side. That was the sunrise this morning from Oak Mountain State Park at Kings Chair. It'll look like that again early tomorrow morning, but it won't be quite as cool across the board. I think most are going to be in the 50s north of Birmingham, mid 60s to the south, and then tomorrow afternoon getting just a little hotter than it was today. So Monday and Tuesday are dry. Wednesday showers come in after dark, and then Thursday and Friday, the two days to expect some pretty significant rain and wind and maybe even a few strong storms. Julian?